Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we are ranking all the soups from the boys by morality. We're starting from the best and then we're going to the worst. I have a bunch of tiers from good, there's hope, neutral, naughty, bad, evil, and of course, the worst of the worst. Let's start off with Stormfront. Pretty clear, uh, she's going in the worst of the worst. Any character that makes Homelander be like, what the hell is wrong with this lady? Uh, enough said. She's cruel, she's unusual, She's a Nazi. You know, I don't think anyone's gonna disagree with this. No one's gonna fight this. And then we have Queen Maeve. I'm gonna say Queen Maeve is a... Uh, I'm gonna say uh, she's good, you know? A character who was silenced into ignoring a lot of the atrocities she was experienced early on. But since then, she's come around. She's gotten out of the life. She did some good things to help Butcher and the boys. I like her. And then we have Supersonic. I'm gonna put him, of course, in good. He showed up, sang some songs, Died. And that's the skinny on Supersonic, though. He did get his license to drive, though. That's pretty good. And then I have uh, Ryan. I'm going to go There's Hope because, you know, even now in Season 4, Ryan's on Team Homelander. He's still got hope. He still has somewhat of a moral compass. We saw him on the TV program being like, no, guys, don't dox your parents to the feds. That's sus. Your parents aren't sus. You're sus. There's obviously hope. And then we have Tech Knight, who I very well could put in the what the F category because of that. But as far as how evil he is, um, I could put him in this what the F character for all of his crazy kinks, but I'm just going to put him in bad. The guy's just got a bunch of crazy fetishes. That's about it. The guy's just kind of stupid. He serves the higher powers, wherever the money and the clout goes. That's where Tekken goes. I like him in bad. And then we have Web uh, Weaver. I'm going to put him in Naughty because we don't really know much about Webweaver except that he was down to get freaky with Tech Knight, which of course is pretty naughty. So yeah. And then we have Soldier Boy, who I'm going to put... This might be a hot take. Don't get mad at me. Uh, I'm going to put him in bad here. Let me explain. Let me explain. Yes, Soldier Boy is not a great guy, but he did agree to help Butcher go after Homelander and stop him. So I gotta give him points for that. But the dude, not a great guy. He's bad, a very bad guy. I think we'd all agree on that. Wouldn't say he's evil, but like I said, because he was willing to help out the boys and kill Homelander to honor this deal, I think he doesn't climb all the way up. And we have Victoria Newman. I'm gonna put her in neutral. Victoria Newman, uh, first of all, she's fake as hell, dude. She was very like, okay, I'm team soups, I'm team soups. Right when something went wrong for her, she was like, oh, Huey, oh, Huey, Huey, what do I do? I know your dad died, but like me, me, me. She wanted the boys help and she was going to help them. So that's why I say she's a neutral, but still, you know, she's sus. Firecracker is pretty evil. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Just She's firecracker. Not great. Starlight is good. That one's pretty cut and dry. Then we have this girl. I don't know her name. Her name's like Tabby or something like that, I think. You know, Tabby, I will put also in... I'll put in bad. We don't know enough about her. And, you know, she was tortured in this facility. So that, that gives her a little bit of sympathy points. Still, though, at the end, she was coming after Huey. That's not cool, so yeah. Dude, freaking uh, Sage, dude. I have no idea what the hell's going on with her. I could see her being all the way in What the F, or I could see her being good. So right now, I'll put her in Naughty because I don't really know, dude. I'm not sure. Everything she does is really just selfish and for her own kind of desires. She wanted to do this giant master plan just to see if she could. I still put her in naughty because she's willing to do all this horrible stuff. You know what? I'll put her in bad. I'll move her up to bad because she did allow and get Homelander into position to do a lot of bad stuff. So I'll put her in bad. A-Train, uh, I'm gonna put in There's Hope. Here's the thing. A-Train started up all the way here in bad and he's been climbing his way down the whole entire time. I'm only saying he's there like there's hope right now because he's yet to fully join the good guys. I think once you join the good guys, that's how you get to the good category. So I'll put him there. Love Sausage is bad. And then we have Kamiko. She's good. But again, cut and dry. And then we have uh, this Daredevil knockoff guy. I'm going to put him in There's Hope. We don't really know enough about him. Bro was in one scene. And then he, he died. He seemed like a genuine guy, though. So I gotta give him credit. And then we have Black Noir, version one, version one. I'm going to put him in uh, Neutral. Because, you know, the guy did a lot of bad stuff, did a lot of bad killing, but also, actually, okay, I'll put him in Naughty, I'll put him in Naughty. The sympathy points don't get him quite there. Then we have, uh, this guy's name is like Blue Hawk, he's that racist guy. Um, yeah, we don't really know anything about him, nothing to get him 
under evil. He's just pretty bad, just racist, kind of de degenerate. Then we have Haley Joel Osmonds. I'm gonna put him in uh, Naughty because he betrayed the boys. Mesmer, I think is his name. Yeah. And then we have this freaky guy. I'm gonna put him in Naughty because he's got a lot of crazy kinks. He's just Storm. He's not Stormfront. Uh, he's just Firecracker's kind of minion. He's kind of just out here simping for Firecracker. But he did make me watch probably the most disturbing scene of the show in season four. So maybe I put him with bad, but nah. And then we have Black Noir version two. I will put in Naughty. You know, the guy started off as just an actor. All he wanted to do was do some acting. Since then, he's kind of got a little, he's got the killing bug. Now it's just all he wants to do. So I'll put him in Naughty. I still think he can come back. He can start to work his way down if he redeemed himself. So there's that. I mean, this guy, he was Soldier Boy's uh, little uh, minion guy. I don't really remember anything about him. So I'll just put him in Naughty. Just assume he's Naughty. Lamplighter, also in Naughty. He worked for the boys and then he didn't. And then he was uh, just, I don't know. Eh. Translucent, I'm going to put in Evil. That guy is pretty bad. And then we have three more. That's right. You only see two, but there's three. The Deep is evil yeah and what the f is homelander homelander is a great example of a character who you can feel sympathy for his past without sympathy for his present because the guy deserves every bad thing that happens to him yes he's interesting yes the performance is amazing yes he is even funny at times but still horrible 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 character as far as like morals go and then we have uh spoilers for season four we have our last one up here hooray we have uh this guy let me take this effect off him who do you think it's gonna be it's billy butcher what the hell billy butcher's a soup now that's crazy billy butcher i will put in neutral because yeah he wants to uh kill all the soups but that's out of a legit passion for stopping all the bad people so there's neutral he killed uh newman funny enough they're in the only category together but still uh we'll see dude it could go either way for butcher right now we don't really know did i miss any soups leave them in the comments below so i can tell you where i'd put them on the evil to good scale thank you guys so much for watching it really genuinely means a lot i'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe trying to hit thousand subscribers a small channel out here trying to make in the big leagues i'd appreciate it talk to you later have a great day genuinely